Welcome to Hot Girl Summer. <laughs> Delayed but never denied. In Jesus' name. Okay. Oh, this is super cute. video of 2020 so cheers to that um and we are currently having some few of our prospects <laughs> some couple of them some couple of some couple of april spreads um we made these Spreads. in the freaking kitchen right now um with a goodie bag that we got from the good people love you so much um it's all up so Pam, I made these and they taste like Italy. That's yeah. the one thing that I'll say to you. So cheers to that. For those of them who say Italy. Should we just cheer? Yeah. Just cheers to us. They went to no. Italy, so. No. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Love you so much. <laughs> cheers to <laughs> Love you. Oh, but it's Tom. Just you. Yeah. Anyway. So we are gathered here today to get our 2020 started in the right way, you know, some gratitude, yeah. some reflection and like set our goals and our direction for 2020 together. Yeah. Um, and we were all going and we would like to be really. So we're going to go around, do a gratitude and a hope for 2020. Sorry, let's just break. Let's just actually pause for a moment and discuss the origins of gratitude circle tell us more okay tell us i would like to say first of all that this is something that balasa bxp started um I don't think that's in 2018 you guys, but okay. okay i think people were doing gratitude hey, circles for so long hey, i think commanding that has been doing that for hey. over a year so. but okay anyway tell us okay. um but this is something that we came up with for our friends as a collector and we say okay cool shab say what you're so grateful for in the year that it is and what you're looking forward to in the year coming so that's what we're going to do we have another opportunity to do that as the wineishes so we're just quick, quickly going to do that as the wineishes and then move from there yeah so, are you going to start no what's no, the point no. No, you like to. No. I can start. Yeah, please. Then we go this way. Uh, really grateful for our team, us, and like actually launching and starting out and like really kind of soaring. Yeah. Um, last year, I think we did really well, and also just making sure we maintain the friendship as well. Um, I, I obviously feel like. In some businesses or whatever, working together as friends might be a little bit tricky, but mm. I think we've kind of managed that very well. And also just on a personal standpoint, I'm really grateful for um, the friendships that I have, my family, and all the things I achieved this year. I mm. think I gained a lot this year. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Last year, you mean? Sorry, last year. Last year. 
Um, and yeah, now it's just a matter of there's so much more to gain, there's so yeah. much more to do, there's so much work to be done, and it's just a matter of just continuing maintaining the game. My spouse is sorry. And in twenty twenty, I think I just want us to grow a little bit more. Um, well, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna gang, gang, gang more. It looks just being more decent. <laughs> but um, I'm really looking forward to all the things we have in store. So, yeah, and just career wise and mental health wise and happiness and money. Chose money. money. That's so, the yeah. end motto. Yeah. Hello. Should we just thank cheer you. to you? Cheers to that. Thank you. Well, I just chose. Not really. Just all done. Look at that. Cheers. Oh, sorry, seven years. I'm sorry. You know, we well, don't like there have to be seven buffs. years of something to be happening first for you. I mean, please give us up. Not now. Give us up, my lords. Come on. Okay. Your next step. Alex. Like, um, 2019. What am I grateful for? Hey. I'm grateful for Irish. Um, and I'm grateful for Wanish's growth in 2019. I'm grateful for all the things we achieved in that small time period and just the potential of what more could come and for being a glimmer of hope and light in a very crappy year. Mm. Um, and then in 2020, taste of what I'm it. saying is. Counting them tricks, honey. Yes. Coins. Coins. Shankura, telling you, new zaga, chile, zaga, zaga, man, aha, mayo. But that's not all of this. That's not mayo, 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 baby, mayo, mayo. Is that what it means? Money, mayo, 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 money, 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 money. Really? Um, obviously I'm looking forward to that, but beyond that, I think I'm I'm looking forward to us pushing ourselves further. Mm. Um, and just you know we're so alive with possibility that it's just like mm. I'm so excited for what we could become. I yeah. think we surprised mm. ourselves just in 2019. Yeah, in 2019 we shook mm. ourselves, and like in 2020 we're gonna shake everyone else too, kind of thing. I love um, that. Shaking the tail. I love. Yeah, I think I'm really excited for that. But also in general, in life, abundance. I'm hopeful for. Money, love, career happiness, yes. career success, mm. and overall happiness and wellness. You know, wellness here, yeah. your special, this where I am, to like mm. wholesome, be a wholesome, be self, mm. like, yeah. Yeah. Right. do yeah. all the things, not just drink the wine, it's got to do more, you know, do more things that make us feel good. But yeah, that's me for 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's just a plane flying over and there's a lot of noise. Okay. There's also a wasp in the house. Like, it's just a wasp. Oh, it's just a wasp. It came back and. Um, what I am most grateful <laughs> That's what she started with, yeah? Grateful yeah, 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 yeah. for in 2019. Yes. Okay. So, what I'm most grateful for in 2019 is, and I always say this at every single gratitude session that I'll ever do. Um, is Anaya. I've never met someone even more perfect. She's just oh, what brilliant. Can you tell um, yeah. our fans who that is? Okay, so Anaya is my niece and my first goddaughter and my only goddaughter ever because I'll never do this again. <laughs> no. Um, but she is my um, cousin Lungile, aka the Pillar Fluffer. You better follow her. Hey. Yeah, she's awesome. She um, so she is at the Pillar Fluffer's daughter, <laughs> and she is light and love, and she has a gap the size of this apartment. And it is just. May you never speak like that about her. It is her. just. You know she will cry. She is yeah. amazing. And she has three teeth at the top and two at the bottom, and it's okay. Um. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so that's what I'm very grateful for in 2019. One ish wise what I'm grateful for in 2019 is um, something that I'm very passionate about that is also a job. Um, not feeling so much as a job. Mm. And um, mm. but being a job and making me love my job. Mm. Um, so I really enjoyed that. What I'm looking forward to in 2020, in the same vein actually, is leaving the shit that doesn't serve me. Mm. Um, just quickly letting go. 
and say, cool, I, mm. I gotta go. Um, so we go. I gotta go. Um, <laughs> so I let it should have got let it go of the shit that doesn't save me. Um and if that's my job that actually pays me money, then I gotta go. Um then and way more peace, way more happiness, cool calming kind of freaking vibes and waters. That's nice, I think. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. Mm, for sure. Okay, so me. What I'm grateful for um, in 2019, I think is definitely very personal and just finding the strength and energy to tap into my stuff, my own personal space, what I need, what I want, um, and really following through with the things that I've always known that I want to do. Very, very grateful for that. Um, yeah, I'm grateful for the beginning, I think, of abundance. I feel like abundance for me started in 2019 where it's like, Things can happen, mm -hmm. and a lot of it, and it can keep flowing from the sky. Alive of possibilities. Alive of possibilities. So I love that energy, and I feel it carrying on into this year definitely. Um, and undoubtedly, so grateful that Ryanish took flight last year, and that we got it going um, because it's been a long time coming. And mm -hmm. I think it was just such amazing timing. And Bexy was back in the city, mm -hmm. and. We were all doing okay in our lives and we could be like, okay, we can do this. And it did so well. So grateful for what it's taught me and bringing me closer to the girls, of course. Um, and just allowing me to reimagine purpose, I think. Um, yeah, so 2019. I loved That's 2019. Nice I loved it as Personally, well. Personally, I yeah. loved 2019. I did not hate it. It was not trash. It taught me so much. It yeah. gave me so much and allowed me to do a lot of things. Um, so I'm, I'm very grateful. Then 2020. Mm. <laughs> so, yes. mm. Don't fake it. 2020, I think, is going to be so tricky because it's time to sort of execute, okay, activate yes. on the things of 2019. Yeah. You know, that's how yeah. I feel, where it's like a lot of things have been placed and landed and now it's time to you go. Apply yeah. it. Mm -hmm. you go, you apply it, you've got what you want, yeah. what do you do with it? Yeah. You know, and how do you self-sustain? How do you manifest more? How do you, yeah, just act on things that you've been given? So I think it's gonna be a difficult year a year of hard work, mm. like actually working, you know, like not being so cute and uh, just getting it mm. done. Um, but of course, in the meantime, I'm looking forward to also, I don't know about the grace of God, guys, Iman is just gonna banana yeah. for yeah. Rock on to me. All yeah, right, I mean, and we Rock are traveling Australia. girls, we are. Just you know, mm. doing more of the lovely mm. stuff. Acquiring, acquiring, experiential. What we share? Oh my God! Yes. Pesheya, like yeah. just yeah. going places. Pesheya, big places. Flying high. So see ya, guys. Um, I guess in 2021 to tell you how this all went down. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what's this? Just eat now. I'm gonna open my clipper. This is a shirt. Which one? The kid was right. Oh, the watch. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if it's not an Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Mm -hmm. I mean, serious, what? Yes. That's why I was like, let's do the hot one because it's mm -hmm. so much. Let it be my. Are you gonna get the glasses? Just because it's all about the money. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't I don't think Yang Thug understands what he does. This one's out of 2019. Drink change. I'm having the update. 
Okay. Malinue and Lue Old Vine White, which is a white blend, mostly Shannon. And yeah, I just... Favorites forever. Yeah. I'm really enjoying it. And it's actually my... I don't want to say top one, but top one. One. <laughs> yeah. And we actually got this on our trip to Cape Town, Cape Town last year, so that's really cool. So why do you think it's your best? Because... Um, it's so I don't know how to say, it, but it's it's so unusual. Mm -hmm. There's something about it that it's you can taste that the shannon's there, but it doesn't really taste like a specific thing. Mm -hmm. You can tell that it's a blend, but you can kind of taste all the parts of it that make mm -hmm. it a blend. So it's our thing. As far as I remember, our thing about Malino, whether it's a new percent or actually from the Swatland is that it's good at Shannon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. 100%. But that's and, a cycling thing. And I think that's yeah. Yeah. what I've been oh, on most of 2019. Yeah, that's your Shannon. Yeah. 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 Definitely on a Shannon trip last year. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. I actually also discovered another wine. <clears throat> I was on vacation. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. And I was staying at this really beautiful golf estate in Marcel Bay called Pinnacle Point and um, there's this golfer Louis Cuestes mm -hmm. he's so good that he has his own wine range <laughs> I don't know that. which um, <laughs> oh, yes, farm but um, it's called Louis 57 and I had the 2017 Sauvignon Blanc and it's yeah. brilliant eh? yeah. it's, Hi, heavy. Lily. it's heavy so it's not like a easy drinking have with the meal, that that sort of thing. But can you call your wine, your best wine of, of 2019? Of oh, guys, I'm so conflicted, but I have to. I guess, I guess, I wouldn't even say my favorite specific wine, but my favorite varietal had to be Sauvignon. Mm, oh, yeah, definitely now done. 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 Whoa. I, I didn't compromise with Semyon in 2019. It came all the way through. And, like, yes, I want to say this Dienberg Semyon, obviously, mm -hmm. but it literally just led me down a path of like oh, Semyon magic. Um, so, yeah, Semyon. Semyon won 2019 for me. Vionia was good too, though. But, but I feel like. Oh, it was me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have words? Okay, I finished them all. No, I didn't. Um, definitely, you guys, I know we've been saying this a lot, but my Leno is definitely in my top two. We asked you for the top one, so. Choose one. No, can I do a red and a white? That's okay. That's what? fine. Can I do that? Yes. Okay, so my top red of all time comes from um, Constantia. And okay. it's the Gouverneur's Reserve. Gouverneur. Ah, I have Gouverneur. never in my life. That was yeah, such an amazing, it's amazing. And even the straw that I had. Hi, yes. My top white, if I'm not mistaken, it's 2017. I can't be sure. But it's the Le Passant, um, Le Passant Chardonnay. I can do the one, the Louis Passant is the one with the white label, and then it's got the gold, rose gold, yes. and rose yes. That, I've, I'm yes. so sorry. I have to come and break you off immediately oh, because yes. that is the most yeah. amazing Look, white I've ever had. Well, so, me, top 2019, I'm allowing myself a category of wines now. I'm also going to do two. Um, numero uno. And I've been asked this question, so I just think, let me just be true to myself, and it's <laughs> Malinu, Wines, Angia. Mm. Hey! Yeah, um, and it's I somewhere between, so much, yeah. <laughs> it's somewhere between the Old Vine Whites, 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 White. 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 Old Vines, this old is somewhere. Old Vines, White. White. This is mm. it's old, old Vines, White. White, yes, okay. I don't agree. Okay. okay. And then there was... I think the Chardonnay, guys. I don't know. There was a non lubricant It's a Malinu. Granite? The granite. granite. Do you think it's granite? 
I think it's quite nice. Yeah. Yes. So I really love that. That's but overall, perfect. I think the concept is just to write home is Andrea Malnu Malnu Lubisant. Then my second is a little bit diff because if I think of a top wine, it's one that I drank a lot in 2019. And that is the cute queen that I spoke about yesterday. So awesome. Yeah, so it's a Wow. Um, oh, the Chantal Chenin blend. Mm -hmm. And we it is. a lot of that in 2019. Yeah, it's, oh, it's such a it. simple, easy, beautiful rose, but it, I and drank affordable. it so much. And affordable. I drank it so much and I still love it. Like, I don't hate it. Um, I can still just. It's such easy drinking. And I think it's one of the few where it doesn't feel like a rose, but it doesn't feel like a white. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a very in between yeah. about yes. it, which I really oh, think yes. is very special. It's such, such, easy, like drinking. Drinking. such easy drinking. Mm -hmm. But we, so like, sweet. collectively, I think we all did a lot of that in 2019. 100%. Like, shop, we get home from work and we're just going to quickly go get a sun and stuff. And yeah. Just done. Guys, this has been spectacular. This has been amazing. Um, welcome to 2020. Stay tuned. We have a lot more coming your way. The girls are ready, the girls are working. Um, <laughs> and we'd love to bring you guys the content you're here for, but we yeah. need you guys to like and subscribe and comment to let us know what you're really into. Yeah. And That's share true. if you're nasty. If you're and tell nasty. Us guys, no. Tell us what you want to know, what you want to learn. Ask questions yeah, so that we can help with the wine education because when we learn, you guys learn as well. So. Exactly. I mean, we're all on this journey together, never forget that. Um, but yeah, we are looking forward to what's to come and we hope you guys are ready for the ride um, because it's only about you. And at the end of the day, like, subscribe and comment. We are Winesh and subscribe to our channel, Yours and Wine. We yes. are out. Love See you.